what's up guys? This is Big Mike from Autocrawler.com. Right now I'm gonna showcase the difference between going fast and having fun versus crawling and letting the truck find traction on its own due to the low gear ratios of our Marlin Crawler taco box. We're out here today at a beautiful Bald Mountain Trail in Central California in the Sierra Nevadas. We're in my 2016 third gen Toyota Tacoma. We're having a bit of front driver's front axle noise. Uh, we've got torn boot, think there's some debris in there. So let's, uh, let's have some fun. Maybe we can break it out here. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna run up to this ledge here in factory low range. I'm gonna need to feather the throttle to keep my, to try to go as slow as I can, but without stalling it. Bouncing, bouncing is when you break stuff, so let me uh, feather this and come a little left here. All right, let's try a little more to the right. Oh, oh I had it. All right, let's just, I think I got it now. Let's go one more, one more take here. All right, I think we can get it this time. All right. So that was with factory low range, 2.57 to one. All right, here we're gonna approach this in factory low range again. All right, now I'm gonna engage one click and we're now in our taco box. is completely off the clutch. I can feel the suspension in the steering wheel. It's wanting to take me a little to the left. I'm still open, open, no lockers here. Okay, looking for traction there. I'm gonna slightly turn to the right. I can feel the right tire is trying to pull. Got a little bit more loud. Look at that. Grabbed it right there. Now, once I'm up, all I gotta do is shift out of the taco box. Still in, now I'm back in factory low range. Little toe heel and away I go. It's as easy as that.
Alright guys, I'm going to try a popular obstacle called V-Rock and I'm going to approach this with as if any other vehicle on the trailer did not have a taco box, meaning I'm going to be in the factory low range, Toyota low range unit. I'm going to be fully locked front and rear and we're going to see if we can do it. Let's go. That was a lot of work and I didn't see any smoke but I smell the clutch that clutch got hot I was really riding it especially on that set the top section where both the front axle and the rear axle have to climb simultaneously it's a lot of a torque requirement for that so I really had to rev even though it's a v6 I had to really put down a lot of torque now we're gonna disengage the factory low range we're gonna go to high range one to one and now we're gonna shift the, the taco box into low so this is now our 4.7 to 1 ratio. Let's see how this goes. Right, guys so that was a single 470 and truth be told that is the most common ratio that myself Marlin all of us love to use a single 470 and that is with the taco box in low range and the transfer case in high range that's a great gear ratio for most trails you're gonna need to do until you come to a really tough obstacle such as this and this is where the dual ultimate double low range Marlin crawler taco box really shines Especially on this sort of an obstacle where there are two climbs where the rear axle and the front axle are climbing simultaneously. The amount of torque and control when both units are in low range and the, the power of the taco box really comes out. So let's give it a go. I'm actually even giving it throttle. That's how low geared I am. Here's idling, no gas at all. It's incredible that so much torque is being generated even from just an idle. It's right around 600 RPM and I'm not touching the gas at all. 
No feet on any pedal. So that's a pretty good demonstration. And the real cool feature of the taco box is that you only use it when you need it. No matter the obstacle, if it's really tough, that extra gear lever is always there, just waiting to be used. For the maximum in control, whenever it's needed, that's the power of the Marlin Crawler taco box. All right, I'm gonna go up and then spin around. What do you and win? I'll explain it up there, yeah? What do you win? Uh, dual ultimate. Okay. Open, open. What's up, everyone? This is Big Mike. Thanks for sticking around for some of this bonus footage. What I'm gonna try to do here is climb up V-Rock without any lockers. This is uh, pretty difficult when you take the traditional line where you start at the V and then straddle the crack up and to the right. And what happens is when you follow the crack to the right, it unloads the inside or the passenger front tire. And my goal here is to let the truck search for traction on its own. And I do this by feeling the feedback of the steering wheel from the suspension and the tires. I can feel here that the front right is trying to find traction, uh, working it to the right now. It's probably not, not going to get any better, so I think uh, thinking right here if I come more to the left, Maybe I can transfer some load to the driver's tire. There you can see now it's pulling. So if I keep it over here, it should. Ah, yeah, that was it. I could feel each individual lug from both front tires through the steering wheel as they grabbed, released, grabbed, released, until I found that sweet spot where the torque loading was even across the front axle. Once I found it, I just listened to the truck and rode it out. This incredible level of feedback and control is impossible without the low gearing of the Marlin Crawler Taco Box. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying these videos, and we'll see you on the trail next time. Happy crawling from Big Mike and MarlinCrawler.com.